we are on our way up to Columbia to check out the plane and the progress. So I've um, been in touch with them. Um, we ended up ordering uh, some, because it looks like it's going to be up there another week. Um, I ordered some uh, micro VGs, so uh, Aero Resources is going to be putting those on uh, this coming week and uh, have that on and uh, got a new carpet kit but I think I'm going to put that in to kind of dress up the final um, installation of all this and get new carpet in because the other stuff was kind of looking ragged. Uh, and then we just ordered uh, from Knots to You uh, some new uh, wing tips with the Aero LEDs in them that we can wigwag and turn on solid and got the control for that coming. Uh, but that will be uh, installed at a later date. But I'm uh, going to talk to um, Trip and Velocity Avionics and see if we can't get them to get everything pre-wired while everything is opened up uh, in the plane and uh, get that in so that when the tips get here with the lights in it, it's just a, uh, a matter of um, painting them and putting them on and maybe we can have that done in a day or two. So. Um, Anyway, um, hopefully they'll have some progress done and uh, we can document that and show that to you. So um, let's go for a ride. So hey, here we are. We are up at Columbia at Velocity and Aero Resources, and we are getting close. So here, here's a flip of where we're at. So we've got the radio stack, the comm panels in, the autopilots in, the 530, the 430, the transponder. They are working on the panels now. They're back from the powder coating. Um, the glare shield is up in there, not mounted yet, but it is up in there. And so they've got um, new breakers in here. As you can see that they've got on the lower and then they split them off over here on this side. And then um, I've got the wing tips coming that they're going to end up doing some pre-wiring for and then we'll bring it back up um, when that is um, in and then they can end up getting those installed. But um, as you can see, we've got all new wiring up into the wings and back here in the back, we've got our new ELT in. There is the servo for the trim back there. Um, for the autopilot, we've got another servo right there for the um, horizontal stabilizer, and then we've got a um, a servo in the uh, the wings for the uh, ailerons. So um, we're getting close. Um, as you can see, they've got you know a lot of the tools and stuff out of it. So this is going to be um, quite nice to be able to get this thing all up and running and fired up. Um, we did have the um, Vortex generators delivered, so they're going to hopefully, fingers crossed, be doing that next week. Um, all of the antenna stuff, splitters, combiners and everything running in um, right here to the uh, side of the radio stack. Um, but all new wiring and everything on this. This is just going to be so sweet. So from here, we're going to go take a look and see what they're doing on the uh, the avionics. This panel. is the main panel here that is um, pretty much ready to go. Get some light on it here. So the G5s are flushed in. Look at this, what they did. This is fantastic that those puppies are flushed in and then all new hoses for the uh, pedostatic system. They got the, uh, the new control for the ELT flushed in here. 
And then there's the uh, Attitude, HSI, G5s, altimeter, vertical speed, the new CDI for the 430, and then the EDM 700 monitor. So this is our other panel, and they've got the tachometer mounted in. We're going to have the amp meter there, and this is our OBS meter. We've got flaps, indicator here, and then all of the fuel and oil temperature and all that fun stuff is in that slot there. So you can see with the powder coating and how nice that turned out. And how that looks. But the best thing is these G5s of how that has gone in. So really, really um, clean. And then these are the batteries for the, um, the G5s that they're going to be um, going in. So um, yeah. Hopefully uh, less than a week now. So we got the wing tips on and uh, they're going to get those painted. The horizontal stabilizer is back on and the bearing is in that whole assembly in there somewhere here. And so that's going to be going back on and we are getting very close. It sounds like middle of next week that um, 1191 mic will be all back together and um, be hopefully uh, maybe Friday going for a, uh, a test flight um, up here in, um, in Columbia. So that is it from Aero Resources and Velocity Avionics. Um, just doing a pan around of the shop here. They got a lot going on and um, one of the cleanest shops um, that um, I have been to uh, in doing my whole research and finding a, uh, a vendor to be able to uh, work on the plane, mechanic, avionics shop and everything. So um, anyway, that's it. And we will be posting more as soon as we get more video to shoot. Thanks for watching.